Um, obviously, I was disappointed. Um, you know, but like I, I said in my statement yesterday, I respect Coach Benton and, and his decision, and it's his to be made. It's not mine. So, obviously, you know, to start 13 games, you don't want to be told three games left that you know it's being taken away from you. So, disappointed. Um, it hurts, but like I said, you know, I'll be here to support Johnny. And I think, you know, for some reason, there's this misconception that Johnny and I don't belong. And we were joking about it the other day. Like, I like Johnny. You know, Johnny's a good guy, and. and um, you know, this is this is just a situation we're in. So I will be there to support him. Any questions he has, you know, and in the same sense, you know, I'll be ready to play too because you know, only one play away. You know, I've been in this position before, and um, you know, so I'll, I'll stay prepared. How tough is it after the 13 weeks finding all at camp to go to practice today as the number two guy? Yeah, it's tough. I mean, you know, any quarterback who plays in this league wants to start, and when you've been starting for 13 weeks, you know, that's not what you want to go do. So. It's disappointing, and, and you definitely have to take the right mindset to it and, and you know, go out and, and do your job. I mean, that's what, what I'm here to do, and that's to uh, help this team in any way I can. Did you feel like you were playing for your job at all the last couple weeks? Um, you know, I try not to think about it. I yeah. just try to go out and play, and, um, you know, things just didn't work out. We weren't executing, and, you know, like I said before, the greatest thing about this sport is it's a team game. You know, not all the blame goes on one person. And, and um, you know, for the past – three or four weeks, we just haven't executed, and, you know, it's a team sport, and I know being the quarterback, you get more of the, the blame than, than other people, and that's, you know, it's the job I signed up for, so I understand that. Brian, you do have a different skill set than uh, Johnny, so how do you think the offense changes with him? Well, I think, you know, we've seen Johnny play in the preseason, we've seen him play before, I mean, um, he and I are different types of players in that regard, you know, I'm not as mobile as he is, so, um, you know, not to give anything away, but I think we all know what type of player that Johnny is. Um, there's a, much has been made about you know possible you and Josh Gordon supposedly you know not whatever. I don't know if it's just not having chemistry or like he's not whatever playing as hard for you as he maybe for Johnny. There's a lot of stuff. Like that. Was everything okay between you and Josh Gordon? And do you feel like it was just maybe a matter of? Yeah, I mean, Josh and I have a good relationship. I, I, just this past Saturday, after our meeting, I sat down with him. We went over every play that he had in practice. And, and I think, you know, the thing with Josh is just the lack of repetition and, and not being able to be around. I think, you know, I don't think that he's not playing as hard for me as he will on Sunday. I mean, it's just it's just taking him time to catch up to where everybody else is. And, and unfortunately, we're going through that in games. You know, it's not just in practice or OTAs or training camps and, uh, you know, that type of thing. So, you know, I don't think there's any... You know, merit any of that. Do you worry you might not play again for the hometown team? No, I'm not concerned about that. You know, like I said, I have to be ready to play. You know, that's just the nature of this business. Um, so, you know, for me, my main concern right now is, is, you know, doing whatever I can to help this team win, whether it's giving a good look on the scout team or helping Johnny prepare. And, and you know, if he sees something that he, he's not sure about and he comes to ask me, then that's what my job is to do. So, um, you know, I'm worried. About, I'm taking it one day at a time and, and one week at a time. So that's just my concern. Um, at this moment, I mean, you know, I don't want anyone to feel sorry for me. I got to live out a childhood dream, and, and it's not over. There's still a chance that I do play for this team. And, um, you know, I'm proud of what we accomplished when I played quarterback for this team, and, and you never know what's going to happen. So, uh, like I said, right now it's just day-to-day -day and, and trying to help in any way I can. Brian, have you seen Johnny get better? Have you seen him become you know, more of a professional and all the other things that go Yeah, I mean, like time? any rookie, I mean, when you come into this league, it's not college anymore, and, and you're learning a new system just like anybody else. And, and he's done a good job of, you know, learning it, and now get a chance to go execute it. You talked about living out your childhood dream, but how hard is that to then maybe not get to see the end of it? Like yeah, you I wanted. mean, you know, that's out of my control, you know. So the decision's been made. There's no going back. I mean, for me, like I said, it's it's about doing what I can to help this team win and, and taking it one day at a time. As far as, um, I wasn't sure what these questions, but as far as being here, you know, next year and beyond, I mean, even given the circumstances, knowing Johnny's a quarterback, could you see yourself being here beyond this year? Um, you know, I'm not really, you know, I can't think about that right now. I mean, I'm sure the offseason I'll sit down with my family, my agent, decide what's best for me. And, and I think that's what it'll come down to, what's best for my career and what's best for my family. So, you know, you never rule anything out. I mean, obviously, I'm from here. I love being here. But I think, you know, you have to weigh everything when you make a decision like that. And, and that decision is going to be made a long time from now. So, you know, I'm worried about, you know, preparing for the Bengals without really taking any reps. I mean, the good thing is I've played against them before, so if I do have to play, it's not something that I'm familiar with. You, you still... You already kind of established yourself as, as a starter and you want to start... Yeah, anybody who plays, you know, not even anybody who plays, anybody who's in this league at this position wants to play. And now having played for 
you know, 13 games plus three last year. You know, I know what it takes to, to play in this league, and that's what, you know, like I said, that's where you base your decision on. But I don't know, you know, how things are playing. You know, you never know what's going to happen. I mean, look at Cam Newton. He was in a car. I mean, he was in a life or death situation yesterday. He doesn't. You start, you start thinking too far down the road. It's, it's for nothing. You never know what's going to happen. So obviously, we hope you know Cam's doing it right. But you never know what's going to happen. You know, um, and for me, it's just about. Uh, you know, getting through you know each day, and if Johnny has a question for me, answer it. You know, help him out. If the defense wants me to do a certain look out there, that's that's my job, and, and that's what I'm here to do. Do you ever um, think that the, all of it got to be too much? The fact that Johnny was behind you, the fact the, con- the uncertain contract stuff, all the off the no, field issues. No, I don't think so. I think it was just you know what? I mean, it's football. It's you know sometimes the ball bounces the wrong way, and sometimes you know the other team's good too, and, and they make plays. I think. Um, you know, we just had a few, you know, rough games, and that's what happened. I mean, I don't – that's not something I think about, especially when I'm out there playing. You know, it's, it's the furthest thing from my mind. I'm thinking, you know, is it cover three or is it cover two? You know, that, that I don't think had anything to do with it. You, you think you still have the ability to be a winning starter in the oh, league? Oh, yeah, no doubt. I mean, we won the game three weeks ago. So we were one play away from, you know, winning the game last week. That's a little bit out of doubt. How, what do you think? What do you expect to see from Johnny Sunday? You think he can come in and win games right away? Yeah, I mean Johnny's a good football player. You don't win the Heisman Trophy as a freshman for not being a good football player. You don't get drafted in the first round if you're not a good football player. So, um, you know, it'll be good for him to get to practice, you know, this week and then get a chance to go out and play. I mean, I, I don't know. You know, I can't predict. You know how. You know, if you would ask me last week, are we going to beat the Colts? I would have said yeah. But um, you know, so I think um, you know he's definitely improved from. You know, training camp and throughout the year, and, and now he'll finally get a chance to go out and play. Thanks, Brad. Thanks.